Hello everybody. I have some time while I'm waiting on trucks to get here, so I figured I would show you a typical grease point check on a wheel loader. I have here a John Deere 544, and I just figured I would take a few minutes here and show new guys or somebody who hasn't run or operated a wheel loader before where all the grease points. So obviously you're just looking for anywhere where there's a pivot point. So on this particular loader, we have a grease point on both sides on the bottom here where the boom hooks to the bucket. We have here, same thing, where the center arm hooks to the bucket and then grease point over there. One at the top here, these grease fittings are out in the front, they're not on the end. So if you don't see a grease fitting, it's going to be right here. Same for this fitting. That grease fitting is going to be on the back side over here. These main boom cylinders on both sides. And then up here you'll have a grease fitting on the top of the boom and the top of both of the arms. That's the front. Coming on to the back, here's where we grease the rear part of that hydraulic cylinder that's lifting the main arm. Same thing on the other side. One on the top, one on the bottom. One's for the main arm, the other one's for the hydraulic ram, the bottom of the ram here. Then coming to the center of the loader, we're going to have a grease point at both of the connections here, the center pin and the center pin. We're also going to have grease points at all of the hydraulic ends, so back and the front. We have no grease fittings in the back of the machine at all. And then I just wanted to come over here real quick and show you the same on the other side. One, two, three, four is the back of the cylinder. The top pin, the bottom pin. Every once in a while you can throw a couple pumps of grease in the drive shaft links here. If it has a zerk fitting on it. And then coming over to the other side. Here's that other bucket grease fitting and our other hydraulic cylinder fitting. So those are the points that you're going to want to stop and lube. Uh, I figured I'd make this video. Like I said, I have a gap in my trucks right now, so I'm going to grab the grease gun and service this machine so it's ready to go many more hours. Hope that helps. See you guys on the next one.